Hey, this is Ryan from Geek.com, and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Moto X. So these are obviously pretty different devices, but they're both premium devices. They just get there a little bit differently. The Moto X uh, is much more modestly specced. It has a dual-core Snapdragon S4 Pro, a smaller screen, and of course the new Samsung Galaxy S5 has the quad-core Snapdragon 801, and it's a lot bigger. So uh, just by virtue of the fact that Motorola has done such a good job with software, the Moto X has always been a pretty fast device, so I thought we might start these both up. Uh, we'll see how fast they get to the home screens and how they perform once they get there. Uh, now both these devices are stock, they're running pretty similar complements of apps and widgets, uh, and both of them have the lock screens disabled, so they'll go right to the home screen, so we should see how fast, uh, how fast they are at this. Obviously you won't be restarting your phone uh, every day, but this is somewhat descriptive of the kind of performance you can expect. So there we go, the Galaxy S5 is already there, um, and it's pretty usable right away. Um, now, faster phone usually starts up faster, so you know this tells us a little bit about how these devices work. And there's the Moto X. A little bit slower, uh, you know, when it first gets to the home screen, but you know, not a huge, not a huge deal. Uh, we'll just we'll give the Moto X a second here to to think about this. And we will, um, going to use Chrome here in incognito mode to load some pages uh, without worrying about the cache affecting things. So we'll load uh, Geek on both of these devices. We'll see how quickly this happens. So it looks like the Galaxy S5 is, is done and... Moto X, there we go, it's done. Uh, so, you know, a second or two difference, not a huge problem. Um, but, you know, the Galaxy S5 is a bit faster. You shouldn't really be uh, terribly surprised about that. Okay, let's try loading a page here. I should also point out uh, that this is the same Wi-Fi network, so there shouldn't be any difference in network speed. Um, yes, yeah, so the Moto X actually did pretty well there. Uh, let's try maybe one more uh, web page here and see what happens. So, uh, yeah, the Galaxy S5 was a little faster there, but again, you're not seeing a huge difference in performance loading pages. Uh, so let's try a couple of apps. We'll try uh, the Play Store. This sometimes bogs down Android devices. Almost exactly the same, so that's a good sign. We'll try loading the app list. This is usually heavy. So, uh, maybe a little faster on the Moto X. Alright, we'll try one more. Let's try Maps. So Galaxy S5 uh, is a little bit faster there. Um, so yeah, but Motorola obviously has done a pretty good job optimizing the software. Uh, I mean, it, it's running a much slower processor, but it keeps up with the Galaxy S5 pretty well most of the time. So that probably speaks to how carefully Motorola has, has looked at the hardware they're running uh, Android on. Um, so I mean, the Galaxy S5 of course is faster than previous Samsung devices, so maybe they just needed a little bit of brute force to make that happen. Uh, but that's all I have right now, guys. Thanks for watching.